Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. So now, let's uh, since we are outside Junon again, let's go back inside Junon again, and let's do the same role we did again because we need to get to the heliport. Party. Because why not? I mean, considering the airship was parked there, one thing that we could just bust in from through there, but well, what go silly me for thinking. We hope we get in. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Caution. Let's get. Caution. Let's get back to the. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Thankfully, this does not take too long. It's just to see what happens at the heliport. It's just out there, so. Put us on the huge material. All we have to do now is get rid of the cargo ship. Get the gulk now. Galica. Um, Galica. Galica. <laughs> Oops. Oops, it seems we are a bit too late. Ah. Sorry, Cloud, you missed your flight. Whee. Again, again, if we storm the using the airship, uh, this could have not happened. Indeed. Oh no! Huge materia! Alright, we're right back, guys. Okay, okay. Where is it flying to? Rocket Town, of course! I'm a rocket man! Yes, you oh, are! What that means. Uh, oh, and. Uh, we Vandal Battle! Be attacked. That's what it means, Vandal Battle! Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did some giant revolver. What? Two soldiers and a giant chain gun. Well, not a chain gun, but a big. Oh, it's a, it's like it's an actual revolver. Look at that. Yeah, it is. It's a giant revolver. Oh. Just to relax. Yeah, it, it Ooh, looks bad missile. luck. It, it, it's a missile revolver. <laughs> Creative. Three gem. There you go. Tifa blows her big balls. That's magic breath, but sure, whatever. Okay. Two X potions. Nice. Hmm. Whew! I hope everything goes all right until we get to Rocky Town. Then our mission is nearly complete. Not so fast. We still have four major tasks. We still have to transport the stuff. Stuff. Yeah, this is actual foreshadowing to a thing we will see later on. The stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah, we actually have to exit the town the hard way. Of course. By going again. The backtracking to the same route we did. <laughs> Thankfully, we stand around. We, had, we don't have to pay the guard. You have to pay me a thousand gills to get out. No, I don't. I just have to That's pay you the. Much. Yeah. Well, inflation. Uh, times are hard. I just have to pay you with the securing of your life. Well, times are hard here. You there know. you We're go. We're in the middle of an economic slowdown. Sorry, <laughs> but we're in the middle of a worldly crisis that we have to stop. Sorry. That kind of takes precedent. An economic breakdown is kind of a worldly crisis. Yes, 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 but not we'll as bad as the kind where the world is literally starve. in danger now. I, just need to I also use rest. the place to rest just to... Ah. Because I was too lazy to use a tent. Yeah. But then again, why would you put a tent in the middle of a town? What's the town called again? Uh, which town? This Have one I... or Rocket Junon. Town? Uh, oh, Junon, right. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. So let's go to Rocket Town. But first, let's see what the party members have to say. Hmm. If Shimmer guys think they're gonna fight me with the huge material. Joy? How are you feeling? You want to rest a bit, don't push yourself. Right. You said there's something going on at Rocket Town? 
Yep, your old hometown. How does How it be a clown? Leave now for a seven and not for something else. <laughs> I cannot do that. Okay. Shinra only cares if things are good right now. But I plan to live for 500 years and won't stand for that type of thinking. Kind of ironic, but. but uh, hold on, so they. Them Shinra is all gathered at Seeds Rocket to. Uh, each trying to be. Yep. There ain't nothing like more than letting our secrets. Of course. Are you trying to sound like you're from Liverpool, Tio? What? Sound like a sounds like a scout. Scottish. Uh, remember. Scottish. Yeah, I tried to be Scottish. Anyway, yeah, kind of ironic that a dog-like creature is the one that leaves the most uh, out of out of the group. So let's change the party members. Who's gonna go? Sid, of course, into your town and Yuffie. Yay! Yes, so you it's are. The Jova, so it's going to be the Jova Twip Show. Hold yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, this should be. This should be interesting. Yep. Yep. I get two rolls. Yippee! Cloud, you can't. Hey, I can't throw up. Hey, at least it's a more comfortable ride than Tifa. But you uh, told me that you were in there. Uh, don't call stop. You're making it worse. So you were in there. What were you doing in there, Yuffie? Um, I was um, uh, cleaning your pocket. But you were in Tifa's. Ah, uh, never mind. How could you have cleaned my pocket when I was in the middle of being comatose? You were in Tifa's pocket. Um, this is wrong in, on so many levels. Yeah, I yeah, think we should stop, stop this, Yuffie. Before, before, they, before they start shipping us. Yeah, I agree. So let's bust Team Rocket down and see what happens. Team Rocket? Wow, well, Team oh, Team Rocket got busy. What's wrong President Rufus doing by getting all those mechanics together? <laughs> There's a bunch of Shinra people here messing with my rocket. Is my rocket alright? <laughs> it's a huge compensation symbol, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Um, Cloud, isn't it kind of rude to be sneaking into people's houses? Ah, uh, this is Sid's house, he's fine. Yeah, remember, we what have Sid's- What the fuck are you doing in my house? We had your permission, remember? Are you what are you for? doing in my swamp? <laughs> oh, Shinra soldiers at the <laughs> spectacle and the rocket. So let's let's go kill them because we did we did we only did Those five. Terrorists are here. Wait, let me explain. Seriously, no. Cloud, Cloud Group now is in, in a homicide flurry. Yeah. Like homicide fury right now. Come on, Cloud, let's kick their asses. Right. Yeah, kick their asses. What you guys said. Remember, see, that's still the rape button on. Oh. Yeah, that keeps oh, you protected, Sid, remember? Oh, I was just... <laughs> I was just... Pretending. Right. Okay, then. Ah, grenade! Ah, Pixelated grenade. Oh, phew, it missed me. Yeah, it hit me. And me! Well, we're okay now. Let's roll, team! Yeah, team Yuffie! Don't let them get go. any further! Everyone, attack! Team Yuffie is a go! Uh, team Yuffie. Yeah. Um, I think you mean Team Sid. I think you mean Team Let's Win! Sorry, Yuffie, just because you're on the team doesn't oh. mean you're the leader. Connery, what are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 1 reference. Yeah. 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 Right, well, of course I didn't get it. I only, I only got no, up no, to like. Don't second, worry. I only got up to like the first major town you go to before I gave up. Don't worry, Dwayne. Uh, when, when we get to the commentary, you'll, you'll hear it first, so. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Uh huh. Nowhere. So, what did make you give up anyway? 
He thought the gameplay was a bit too slow for him. Uh, he prefers the Kingdom Hearts. Slow? He don't have slow things. Well, he prefers the Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I can't. I do kind of see where he's coming from on Kingdom Hearts 1. Seems, uh, slow, the first Kingdom Hearts gameplay is uh, clunky. Yeah, yeah. It I wasn't. It wasn't until Kingdom Hearts 2 that the series really found its identity in terms of combat. Because uh, the Kingdom Hearts 1 battle system is a bit. It's a bit. It's, it's a bit too Zelda esque. Shall we say? Yeah, kinda. Not to mention that without the reaction commands in the original PS2 version, it was a nightmare to select it. Hey Cloud, <laughs> these guys kinda suck, don't they? You have no idea, Yuffie. <laughs> uh, I swear, my mom's a better security guard than them. Oh, God damn it, what the hell do they think they're gonna do to my rocket? I said, no, it's your rocket, I thought it was the old man's rocket. I'm out here, Klaus, I'm gonna kick this fucking shit right out of my rocket! Uh, Sid, maybe you'll need... Oh, never mind, I guess you're coming with me. Yeah, if, if you were with other party members, Sid, Sid will bust in and join you. I'll be right hopefully. back. Be sure to be fast waves. You're missing a lot. You again? Oh, I would. <laughs> It's not we like you're not happy eliminate, to see us. We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shinra's way. Okay, I should explain this. From now on, every fight against Turks will hold, will be important because the Turks will each Turk will hold a special item and I want to steal it. Oh so boy. you're gonna see again me trying to steal it. Thankfully, I cut away the most attempt, so it's shortened, but you, you're gonna see it. Ah, good. I win! <laughs> yeah, the, the, the ow, explosion. Ow, ow. Oh, that the grenade was... explosion was is very pixelated. <laughs> Grand Spark! Grand Spark again! Yeah, that's right, I can do Grand Spark three times in a row. Spammer. <laughs> Gets the job. Spamming's not allowed. That's on a What, the one of White Wind? Yeah. Hold it. Well, gets rid of him. Oh, okay, go Yuffie. Hmm. Let's start stealing the, the living shit out of him. Come on, Yuffie, you're the materia, Fee! <laughs> Grand Spot! She is, is all catching on to our tactics! Uh, well, of all the times you could be printing out your homework, it has to be near 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> hey, Dwiv! Oh. Couldn't steal anything. Oh, you see, Dwiv! <laughs> you see, Dwiv! <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 see, you see, Dwibs, this is an example of how you cut out and put in a gag. Well, I'm not good at gags, so, um... Well, then just do cuts, though. Editing. I, I, did, I did do that in the latest Matrix Path and Neo parts. I'm still, I'm still deliberating. But speaking of gags, I'm still deliberating. What gags can I use for the first part of Perking 2? Because, man, the potential... The, poten the potential for gags is, is limitless. As <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You know, if we're fighting rude, shouldn't we have brought Tifa with us? Oh, that uh, would make it too For easy. For the mission we're going to do, I chose this party member both for plot convenience and for uh, the fact they, they wanted again to mix up things uh, with, with the party's yeah, Pardon walk me while I walk party. all over you. Oh, you're gonna see, yeah, this is the side rig, the best equipment, uh, but it doesn't have material slots, so you wanna use carefully. Yo, why are you here? Rude and Turk should have been here. Too bad. Those guys are over there. Oh man, the Turks been on you not that, but I won't let you boo! Now get down and give me 20 by the pile! So yeah, uh, Here you go then! We're leaving the unconscious body of Rude behind us, right next to the rocket. <laughs> 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 not much else to do. We're in a hurry, it's a rocket. Well, that takes care of him. Yep. 
Okay. Yeah. The there isn't going to be any more obstacles. Uh... Well, at least he's alive. Hmm. Oh, look who's here. Hi! Who the hell are you guys doing? Nothing. Hey, just when I thought something was going on, you came back. Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? We're gonna load a materia bomb in this and blow up Meteor. No stealing my rules. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Yeah, this man, this is so cool. Wait a minute. Shut up! Just shut the hell up! <laughs> oh, well. how's the rocket? It's really much okay. Yeah. And it comes to like, whatever. <laughs> we plan to run it into Meteor and Autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Shira's doing it. Oh, great. But I've got to visit you guys. Uh, it's gonna take a hundred fucking years. Ah, uh, heal me. I'll take over, so don't worry about the fucking autopilot. Holy shit, right, go ahead, go tell everyone! Alright, All right, Captain, Captain, good, good luck. luck! Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what he read me! Hey, Sid, what are you doing? There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the materia. You think I give a fuck? It doesn't work, though. He has to be calm, completely... It has to go from zero to fucking a hundred in a second. There's, Otherwise, it doesn't work. <laughs> there's no way we can lose the huge materia. Yeah, I understand. I understand the material is precious, and I also understand what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd have to put my money on the power of science. No, no, see, no, no, dreams. It's the power of science. Humans <laughs> used to only roam around on the ground are able to fly now. And finally, we're about to go into outer space on a suicide mission. Science is a power created and developed by humans, and science just might be what saves this planet. Remember, just to, just to remind you guys, but Square Enix is anti-religion. <laughs> I was able to earn my living thanks to science, so to me, there's nothing greater. I wouldn't know with all the religious symbolism. Slap quit your about. worrying about <laughs> Yeah, Shiro. that's true. Well, 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 the thing is, Shiroi, uh, I want to having done something later. Well, she were right. Uh, as far as Square is concerned, uh, religion only exists for 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 inspiration for Shut monsters and shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. So Yuffie, piss off. Which is oh, weird boy. because the church that air oh, had her flowers in was actually a symbolism of good for once. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Drop. Oh, okay. Pardon? And yet, Eris died you... hours later. What the hell did you do? They didn't say they finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it. God damn, Shara! Why'd you pick today to get fast? We're still in the rocket! <laughs> Fuck you! Damn, whatever but is completely locked up! Oh boy! Hey, hey, hey. Almost left up! When I get my hands on Shara, I'm gonna. What the? No countdown! I just don't see the same without it! What are you gonna do? Marry her? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Blast off! I, I thought, to to I thought you were hit Rude's by a truck! Also. Oh well. Also, oh, yeah, uh, say, say also goodbye to Palmer because we'll never hear or see him again for the rest of the compilation. Yeah. Amaz you know what's amazing though? Palmer's quite possibly one of the few Shinra employees to survive and he was hit by a freaking truck. So what, Root's dead? Yeah, pretty much. Considering yeah. the he eat her. <laughs> We never see Rude again. Now we do see in the movie, yeah. Uh -huh. No, oh, that's that's well, later. That's, that's, we also that's, see him that's, later. That's, that's, there's that too. We're, we're just joking. It takes a lot more to take uh, Rude. But, but in terms of Palmer, yeah, he, for, for all we know, he died because we never see him again. <laughs> you know what's amazing is the fact that he didn't die getting hit by a truck. It's not just a thing where we said, you know, that. Uh, they just tell, told, we just forgot to tell his game, but they say, no, 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 he lived, or yeah. No, they didn't say a single word on him. <laughs> Makes you wonder why they didn't just have him I finally die made it. Out of space. I wonder if the remake will uh, flash out a bit more. Let's see. So. How's the core set? 
Come to think of it, Sid looks yep. kind of like Bruce Willis. Excited for a collision with me, to you. <laughs> hey, old man, do something. Do something. Okay, we're headed straight towards Meteor. This can only go well. I'm pummeling out this way to lock the autopilot device. We're not, we might not be able to change the course. So, are we gonna die? This is the end? Wow! Yep. After yeah. all I've gone through, what a way to go! Huh? The hell are you so, saying? Um, You're still young, you can give up that easily? Anyone? Eh? What I'm not sure? gonna crash into me to you. Never mind. <laughs> oh! Just watch. Okay. I will have the power to actually say my dialogue without anyone else talking. It will be a miracle. I keep an escape pod on the rocket just for emergencies like this. Oh. Convenient. Well, that's an easy way out. I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod. We'll bail right before we crash into Meteor. Alright, sounds simple enough. <laughs> what are we gonna do with the huge materia? If you don't want it, maybe you could give it to me. Huge materia in the hands of Yuffie. <laughs> How big a disaster do you think that would be? Materials would be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? Of course I'm sure. I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago. But maybe all I really want was just to go into outer space. So why don't you so why don't so why don't all you do whatever you think is right? Right! Get inside me! Let's go! Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way guys, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're still suffering the um, talking of a dwarf. I finally found the huge materia. Whew. Oh, here's the interesting part. Go ahead. Structures so that the lock can be opened if we enter the passcode from this control panel. Right. Now, what um, was that passcode? <laughs> um, let me guess. The passcode is. Uh, Rude programmed this, so the passcode is Tifa. Let me guess, the passcode is the number that Cloud never got. Hey Cloud, you know, how to, you, know, you know how to bust it, right? Every time it says enter passcode, push one of those circles, cross, X triangle, square buttons. Alright! If you punch in the right code, it will unlock and you can get the huge material. So, what order am I supposed to enter the passcode in? I don't know, just try and punch in the code randomly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> great help. Passcode the thing one. is, it's it's not all randomly generated, so I already knew what the code was. Passcode confirmed. Identified as an authorized user. Passcode confirmed. Identified as an unauthorized user. Sorry, as an authorized user unlocked. So where do you find the passcode then? Whoa, pretty good. You got the passcode in a single try. Hold on. Yeah. You also know the passcode. If not. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, sure, see it. Let's go ahead with that. Well, where did you find it? Um, but, but if you get it wrong, see it will start remembering it and will drop random inputs. Uh, then some people got it together, and now it's all over the internet and the guides. <laughs> oh, it's okay. not again. It's not randomly generated, so it's only digits. <laughs> I if I recall correctly, is uh, uh, circle, square, square, ah. X, uh, or something. Oh, look at you. Oh, I just thought it'd be one of those cases where you randomly come across it in game somewhere in the background or. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn! My leg's stuck in the debris! Oh. Sid! Jova? <clears throat> yes. I can't budge it by myself! <clears throat> Don't worry about me, I'll help her go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash into Meteor. Oh. Great. I can't well, go without sucks. my friends. Uh, you know, you have a sword, you could just try to chop it. No. You fucker! Now try to worry about other people! You fight huge monsters on a regular basis and you won't slice through a bit of rock or whatever I'm that gonna is. gonna do whatever yeah, I can. Yeah, metal, I guess. Metal. Oh no, you, you go... You're gonna love what happens next. You're stupid! Can, can, You're can really they... fucking stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Can't they just summon one of their so idols and ask the idol to really get that out? Or hell, or, or, or hell, use arrow. Uh, it was arrow Shara. magic. We cannot use arrow, uh, arrow magic. Yes, it turns right. out Shiro was right about taking it. 
No, no, no. There's not, a, there's not, there's not a, a, a near elemental spell available for your group. Don't say that, Sid. You're right. It's, it's Shira. Okay. Huh? Shara? Shira, Shira. I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. Yeah, apparently with the help of a girl. You stupid, as, as... You stupid white fucking bitch. <laughs> but Sid, just a few seconds ago, yeah. you admitted she was right about take number eight. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, apparently, with the help of a, sign, a female scientist, we were able to lift that thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The escape pod is this way. Well, nobody said she wasn't strong. She's a bit <laughs> stupid, but... I don't think it's so much that she's stupid, it's just that uh, she's... Lumsy. She's absent-minded. She yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Shara, does this pod really fly? And as Sid has said, it turned out, it turns out after all that she was right about tank number eight. It'll be okay. I've been checking it until now. Then I'm relieved. Aww, Aww. they'll make a great couple. Thanks. Yeah. Um, oh, and, um, and Cloud. Yes. Do you want me to be the best man at the wedding, Sid? Um, well, that. And also, can you make sure I can actually say my lines without anyone else walking <laughs> over me? I'll try my best. Because I've asked that twice in this comment, in this part, and this. So, this is outer space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here at outer space. Wow. Oh my god, so long, <laughs> shit, but I'll put 26. Do, 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 so, do, it's the moment do, of truth. Will the rocket uh, manage to break meter or not? Hmm. I mean, everyone who has seen Armageddon already knows the answer, but let's just try to be suspenseful. <laughs> well, I, I have not so, seen um, it, so let's see. Me neither. I've seen it, but uh, quite a few years back. Ah. And now we're back at Midgar. What? What? Come Holy on! Shit. But wait, even if you destroy that, oh, wouldn't, this spread, wouldn't this spread the destruction over an even wider area? Uh, technically, if the debris are smaller, they disintegrate while falling into the atmosphere. Uh, technically speaking, we've a lot of things uh, fall on Earth uh, on a daily basis, but since they're too small, they disintegrate in the atmosphere. Yep. And we are none the wiser. It's it's the force of a friction of a uh, friction. The more you know. <sighs> Again, we, uh, uh, how are your grades in physics? I didn't do physics. It's shown. This is gonna be a yeah. running gag. What are your grades in this? I didn't do it. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Dwebs, I don't really know that much any uh, 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 that much anyway. I, I, You're like, the I, oldest oh, of us. Oh yeah, the the rocket is only scratched the meteor. I have more common sense than smarts. Well, it made a scratch! I'm more... I, I, I'm more uh, my speciality is picking apart uh, plot holes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, for example, uh, I remember oh, back in part 5 of Final Fantasy XIV where I had to point out to Jova how the Falsi are the stupidest gods that have ever been born, ever. <laughs> or created. Well, yeah, technically, panic, because... The, panic. Yeah. Sorry. No, actually, actually, you have a point there, but it's because they actually were created as it's revealed later on in the story. Right. Okay. Rufus and the others' plan was a failure. There should be an apostrophe wah, at the wah, end of others. Wah, 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 wah. What a bust. But I kind of hope it will work. Well, we stole their materials, you know. It didn't work. We've been bothering them as much as we can. But there ain't no other way. Wonder if we we walk around all this time. To just shove a rocket in the back of the of the meteor and then have it fly away. <laughs> Makes you worry, doesn't it? Oh yeah, just a little. Don't worry. Think. About what? Anything. Hey, the girl's right. <clears throat> she is. Yes. Yes. Yes, just stop worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart and get worse and worse. He's got a point. You're pretty damn optimistic. 
You're up to something? Fuck you, you pessimist prick! <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been thinking that even when we were floating in the ocean in that escape pod. Hmm. I've been thinking too about the universe, planet, ocean. Oh, great. How wide and big, no matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Oh, I've Not got a Superman, second essence. after all. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something no, different. It's, it's, but but it's, I came up with something different. Oh, oops. <laughs> Stop my bad. stealing my fucking lines. I always thought this planet was so huge. But looking at it from space, I realized it's so small. We're just floating in the dark. It kind of makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth pestering it like a sickness. That's why I say this planet is still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Whatever you do, don't shoot it. Someone's gotta protect it. Right! You follow me? That someone is us! Yes, Captain America. Uh, I mean Sid. <laughs> Sid, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I need a tissue cloud. I'm Here you go, to you, bud. Even I'm still crying. <laughs> Dude, now what? Now we're gonna protect the planet from meteor. Wait for it. Where? Wait for it. Where? Wait okay. for it. I'm ready for this. Where? <sighs> I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 well, and your feet running away in panic. Huh? Well, uh, scrambled. <laughs> Did you hear something? Eh. The planet scream or meteor? Is it this planet? Planet's crying now. Oh. Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet scream? Remember, the uh, dwebs, the planet is alive in this universe. Yeah. Did you forget? Yeah, did you forget this? <laughs> Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen. Whatever. Bugenhagen. <laughs> Let's go see Grandfather. Cosmo Cannon. I'm sure he'll be able to help tell us something that will be helpful. Right. That's in German. And then can I be useful? That Bugenhagen guy. The weird dude. I've always seen kind of naturalist. But he was all into the machines. Machines! <laughs> Did Bernerhagen tell him? Maybe it's just me, but this ship being remodeled about me knowing it. All these switches and levers, they're kind of getting to me. <laughs> the machines in Cosmo Canyon were present in the presence of Dr. Gust. Oh, hi, Vincent. You haven't been doing much. Wrapped up in the ship. Yeah. When the hell is my side, side plot gonna appear anyway? Actually, the next part. Uh... Oh, good. Oh. There you good. go. Good, because I'm kind of not been doing anything. I mean, I'm voiced by fucking Steve Blum. You'd think I'd have some more of an important role. <laughs> this is just between you and me, but uh, that where Fugenhagen fell there used to be a pretty handy Shinra worker. Who didn't used to be yep. a Shinra? Yeah, I never bought no weapons or Mechobo. Being in Shinra seems like a rite of passage. So, David, what about so me? before going to Cosmo Canyon, in the next two parts, we'll do more side quest stuff. See ya. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, Yuffie's a thing, isn't she? <laughs> yes, she is. Yeah, everybody.